Welcome to Change. I'm Bonnie Carlin at the Senior Cafe in the Barn at Schomburg, and I'm delighted to be with you today. Uh, we're having a town hall meeting at the barn, and we're going to be talking about life at the barn as we know it. Uh, we have uh, many people in our community here, and uh, they're going to let us know how they feel about the barn and uh, what we do here. Uh, the first segment that we're going to uh, look at is nutrition. Uh, so I'll have to ask, uh, can anybody let me know uh, with how you first heard about the barn? Anita? One of my neighbors told me that there was a place to go to, so I, got, I came and then I got other people to come here too. Oh, very nice. Anybody else? I'm Roberta, and my friend told me about the bar, so I decided to come, and I enjoyed coming to the bar. Good. And, and, I'm, and I'm a you. I heard about it at the park district. I used to go play bingo. And I came, and I liked it, and I'm still here. Great. <laughs> Anybody else? Andrea? I come here because my husband is a volunteer, uh -huh. and he's asked me to come to lunch with him at times. I always found it very, very much fun. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad. Nori? Um, when I was working with my son's business, I was skipping meals. And my son was very concerned. <laughs> and he said that you've got to eat. And I heard about the bond. So I took one of my friends, Marion, with me. And that was shortly after the fire. And that's how I've been here ever since. Dale, you want to say something? Yes, uh, I heard about it, of course, from a very close friend, my wife. She heard about it from her close friends at the Park District, uh, where she does uh, exercises in the swimming pool. And uh, they all recommended the barn very highly. So we came and uh, also now recommend it very highly as well. Thank you. Um, is it important to you not only to have meals that taste great, but are nutritious as well? Yes. Can anybody elaborate on that? Phyllis, what do you want to say? Well, I was going to say that um, I have found, since I have been coming a little over six months, uh -huh. that um, I have changed my eating habits. I make th this meal now my dinner. And then in the evening, I have more of a snack or a salad. And I find that actually, as you get older, that this is truly a better way to do it for your digestion and to feel better. Great. Now, I know uh, some seniors live alone. It's very difficult uh, to cook for one. You know, coming to the barn makes it a lot easier. You know, you could have your meal, and uh, you don't have a great deal of preparation or you have to eat leftovers for the next five days or whatever, <laughs> and uh, that makes it good for me, too. Yes, Dale. I like it because uh, you don't have to worry about portion control at home. You know, if you got to buy five pounds of something in order to get one serving, that's a problem. Here, that's never a problem. You get the right portion size. And I also like it because you get a wide variety of good tasting things that are also, by the way, wholesome. Mm -hmm. Yes, Anita. I've been coming here for 18 years. Wow. And I got acquainted with a lot of people. And the reason I like to come is I, when I was alone and I lost my husband, I had some place to go so I wouldn't be sitting in the house all the time. That's great. So I enjoy a lot of the people that are here. And uh -huh. I've been friends with a lot of the people that are here. Jim, you want to say something? Well, I think coming here, like it was mentioned, I like to have my lunch here, my meat, you know, and stuff. So when I go home, I have a bowl of soup and a half a sandwich or something and some fruit mm -hmm. and a salad. So I says it uh, works out real well for me. Because like they said, it's hard to cook for one meal every day, you know, mm -hmm. for one person. Uh, Marion, yes. how many times of, uh, a week do you come to the barn? Five. Five days a week. Five she married to buy. Yeah. <laughs> I like to come because the people are very nice here, and I can help the people, and I can volunteer and do different things. And well, you volunteer too, don't you? Yes. 
Yeah, you do a lot of the band as well. I enjoy it. I enjoy working with the people. I enjoy serving the people. And I really like being here. Great, great. <laughs> I was well, working and I thought... I also am a volunteer. I do the bread. Oh, that's great. What do you do with the bread? I put the slice of bread in a cube of butter and I stick it in a plastic bag mm -hmm. and then I put it in the basket so it's all ready for lunch. Wow. So all they have to do is take it out, put it on a tray and serve it. So there's a lot of things that have to be done in advance for preparation. Right. Words. Does anybody else do things like... Well, do not forget, Jean, your crew. Well, I have silver. A, a crew. We yes. sit, we, in fact, we did today, we sat and did the silverware. We wrapped ah. the silverware up in the napkin, so it's handy, you know, for everybody to handle the knife, fork, and spoon. So, and we have a lot of fun at the table doing that. We chit chat with Roberto. I can help out going around and getting the tray from people who oh, can't get up, and anybody else who can't get to a tray and I throw it away and bring it up and then help out sometimes watching the tray too. Well, that's great. So I guess everybody's, uh, you know, a lot of people volunteer to do different jobs. It's great. What about you, Phyllis? Um, well, I never thought I was much of a singer. But <laughs> <laughs> Karen handed me the microphone one day, and um, I'm belting out God Bless America. Wow. <laughs> this might be the start of a whole new career for you. Right, me. right. <laughs> Lori, you wanted to say something. I wanted to say I agree very much with uh, Dale about portion control. And also it's cut my grocery bill down. I mean, the meals are very cost effective. Uh, it's enjoyable to eat with your friends, just as you brought forth. Uh, it's a pleasant environment. Mm -hmm. The new meals are nutritious, and Kieran is constantly on top of us. <laughs> <laughs> And I think a lot of us take uh, food home, too, because there's so much food. You know, we could take it home uh, and use some of it for supper as well, which I do occasionally. Bonnie, it is not only that. Hmm. This is really, uh, I enjoyed every minute here. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I would not be here, you know, for 26 years. Yes. Today, uh, I will give you an example. Joe is sick. Joanna got sick. Nobody here. Hmm. And as I got this phone call, so what I did... First, I called Doris. Well, Doris, uh, today we have a uh, family-style sitting fresh bar because we have to do a new program. We want to change some. I need help. Doris said, don't worry, I will be there. Then I called Lori. It was really it's kind of family feeling we have here. Everybody is pitching like today when Anna made a call. Then would you like to take me? And I said, hello, you are my cousin. How I can say no to you, you know? <laughs> so it's it make things, you know, so easy, so pleasant, you know, because you guys are so nice. Thank you. And uh, Kieran, um, you have another option called Meals Now, mm -hmm. don't you? You want to explain that for us? Meals Now for those people who are not able to come here and uh, they are sick, or some other reason. So we deliver those meals on Saturdays thanks to our uh, CPAS. And on that, Tom is one of the volunteers. Uh, unfortunately, he is moving out from his state, but he will let you know how he does that. Not only delivering the food, but if those people are in some kind of need, uh, whether their pet is sick or anything, their lock is not working. They are really all-round handymen. So meals now is one of the best item or uh, addition to our program. Thank you very much. We will be right back to you. Welcome back to Change. We were talking about nutrition in the first segment, but I wanted to talk to Tom. He's the one that delivers meals now to people who are shut-ins. It's uh, very important for most of these people. Uh, sometimes we're the only ones they see during the week. Uh, so it's nice to see a friendly face. and uh, They're really happy to see us. And the meals are five nutritional meals. 
plus we give them uh, fruit and uh, the milk of their choice. And again, for the, the, the cost factor and the right size portions, uh, again, and uh, very seldomly do we hear people that don't like meals. And, uh, it can either be heated in the oven or in the microwave. And it makes it easy for them to have at least one nutritional meal a day. Thanks, Tom. Um, in this segment, we're all also talking about fellowship. So the next question is, uh, why is it important to get out of the house and to come down here and be with other people? Does anybody have thoughts? Anime? Well, just the friends you make here. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I first started coming, I knew one or two people, and now I think I know everybody in the, in the hall. Mm -hmm. You know, we just have a good time seeing each other, playing cards, eating, and I love the salad bar, and uh, it makes life very comfortable. Good. Anybody else have any thoughts, Lori? It's the Bond people have always become a family. Right. We're exactly all true. together, and it doesn't make a difference where you sit, although many of us do have our own friends that we sit with because we want to play cards yeah. or something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, but if you walk in and you have no place to sit, you always feel at home. It's family to me. That's very true. It's really cold here, here, like you're in a house. And you're extended family. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You always have somebody to talk to as well. Dale? When you look at the alternatives, of course, there are some nice alternatives. We could be sitting home watching Judge Judy, oh, <laughs> or we could be watching the Democrats and the Republicans making fools of themselves <laughs> how not to do things in the Senate. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, and then when you come here, it's such a change from that. We've come now to from uh, idiocy to reality again. Mm -hmm. and. Pleasant people talking about things that are relevant to everybody, and uh, you know, all in similar circumstances. Looking forward to enjoying a real nice meal too. By the way, Thanks. and when my husband was in a nursing home, I always made sure I came here first. <laughs> then I would go and visit with him until six o'clock at night, and then he'd say, where are you going? And I said, I'm tired, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> so at least it made it easier for you at that time right. that you could have your meal prepared for you, right. and then go on and visit your yeah, house. Yeah, because it's something different, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes, Roberta. I enjoy coming here, and everybody's so friendly. Uh -huh. and, um, and I enjoy the meal. Enjoy playing card with everybody mm -hmm. and the cellar card too. Yeah. And I just enjoy coming here. It's very nice. Great. And uh, anybody else? Lord? Something I noticed and just looking at Robin brings it to mind. So many people come here and they're dressed up. They look so pretty. And I heard it remark that if we didn't dress up, if, and you know we don't go out that much, so we come here, we dress up, and Robin, you look so right. nice today. <laughs> That's great. Um, have you ever asked an outside friend to come here and join us? I have. Oh, I have often. Yes. I live in a big building, uh -huh. and I've had two or three people come here, uh -huh. and I'll drive them, or Lil will drive them, and. Um, they love it, Great. but then through sickness and whatever else happens, uh -huh. they, they can't make it. But other than that, they love it. Yeah. Is there someone else that has a comment on that? Florida? I, I um, go other places too, and I ask around, you know, mm -hmm. them about the bow, and they say okay, but I don't see them. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you know, they get the idea that you know this is a nice place to come to. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think you have to reach that point mm -hmm. where you desire to come. Yeah. You have neighbors that you have. They have changed the schedule now. Eventually, I think they get the message. Uh -huh. and, uh, you have to keep at it, though. They see your interest increasing. Mm -hmm. It is encouraging to them. 
questions. Well, I had been mentioning it to uh, an acquaintance I know, and she had been talking about it for a long time, and just a couple days ago she told me that she came in and got a menu. She wanted to see the menu, and she said that the food looked very good, you know, all the menu choices, and I suspect that she'll be here shortly. I think it's hard to take that first step out. It is. Especially if you're alone for quite a long mm -hmm. time. That mm -hmm. first step is so important, mm -hmm. not only to the barn, but it's important to yourself to, mm -hmm. to get started. Absolutely. Um, what would you say to someone who had their first visit to the barn? Well, usually I'm in charge of that. And mm -hmm. I'm up and around. I never have any special seat. Wherever I sit, I sit. Wherever I'm welcome, I'm not. That's okay, but you know what? I find a great pleasure just for myself to get up and see that new person, that anxious look on their face, that little bit of frightening, scared look. Why am I here? What do we do? Who do I know? Who do I talk to? Who will talk to me? It's so important so that I get up and I acknowledge who they are, from where they are, how they heard about us, mm -hmm. introduce myself. And recently I find that those that are returning here have been here before, asking me all kinds of questions of what happened to Dorothy Dittmer, what happened to little Helen. It's very important and they remember, they have great memories mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So it's important to us that they come back mm -hmm. and we recognize them. But on this I would like to add something. Somebody came today and uh, she was looking her friends Oh, I don't know, I should leave now. I mean, why? We are nice people. <laughs> and why not try, you know? If you think that uh, it is not working, fine. And if you go out one piece happily, then you know that you can sit with other people, talk to other people, and know them. Because if you are limited yourself, that I can sit only with my by my friend, then you are limiting yourself a lot. But make friends, everybody's so nice. And then within 10 minutes she comes, you are so right, here is my donation, I will stay. So that makes good, you know, as Doris said, sit with other people if you don't get the same seat or something, everybody's so nice. And uh, as far as uh, our garden outside, we have our, our fresh garden and that's part of our salad bar. Um, and I know some of you have worked in the garden. Has anybody had experience with that? I, I did last year. Tom I did. Yes. <laughs> last year I did. Yeah. But this year I, I have a, a brother who's very, very ill. Oh, and I haven't even been coming to the barn uh -huh. regularly. Yeah. But other people have oh. worked. The garden is in a big uh, thing for us and blessing to us. Yes, it yes. is. And uh, we're going to go to break right now. Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Welcome back. Uh, we were talking about nutrition and fellowship, and our last segment is something near and dear to my heart, fun. So we're going to ask um, our town hall uh, participants right now, uh, can anybody name their favorite fun activity at the barn? Phyllis? Um, yes. Uh, when, when I first came here, I have two sisters who are fanatic bingo players. Mm -hmm. And whenever they would invite me to do it, I said, no, it's not the game for me. <laughs> well, in the last six months or so, <laughs> look at the bingo fanatic. I love it. I love it. Very good. And she won two times. I won twice today. Wow. <laughs> I won twice too. Does anybody else have some fun activities? Oh, I like the bingo, I like creating bunko that you play once a month. Uh huh. Um, you like And then sometimes we have somebody come in and we sing songs. Uh huh. Yeah, I enjoy that too. Yeah. yeah. Anybody else yeah. have an idea? Yeah. Dale? Car. Well, the thing that I really enjoy is talking with the people. There's okay. such a diversity of experience here. So many people who have done things. Uh, 
that I have uh, and I'm familiar with or that I would like to have done it. Mm -hmm. So it's a good place to get recommendations on things. I find that very enjoying and very entertaining. And uh, Tom has also been our WE teacher. Oh, uh, yeah. That's great. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Yes. skills and uh, he's done quite well with it and we're sure going to miss that time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anna May, well, did you have a... Uh, well, I love cards. Uh -huh. We play cards and I do love bingo. Mm -hmm. And we play bingo and we talk and talk to Karen if she knowledge us unless she goes by. <laughs> yeah. And we just have a good time. Mm -hmm. Everybody who comes here. In fact, today I wasn't going to come and Lil says, I really think you should come. <laughs> and now that I'm here, I love it. You know, it's really breaks the monotony. How about you, Jean? Did you have a favorite? Oh, I like to come. I like to be with my friends. I don't like to sit home alone. Oh, no. good for you. <laughs> I either do that or else I go shopping, and I think I'm better off coming here. Yes. <laughs> so I like to play cards and bingo and everything. I says I've That's been great. through so many activities and everything, uh -huh. you know, so 18 years of it, the barn is quite interesting with me. Agreed. We also bake. You know, we had bake-offs. Uh -huh. Oh, I won first Baking place system. last year. Oh, I know I tasted off. your cake. It was out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't and made get, it since then. Right, and you get the recipes, too, if you come, see? <laughs> but you all enjoy that. Yeah. It yeah. is not only that baking, Bonnie. Yes. Last year, we have so much zucchini in our garden. Yes. And, uh, okay, so I came up with this idea. Why not we say have zucchini bake sale? And you know what? He made hundred dollar on that, yeah. Yeah, and we, we kept that money for our garden, buying more seeds or whatever uh, need. So we, we, I used to, we used to have bake sales also. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. we a lot yeah. of and, and, and you'd be uh, surprised. Did we, have, did we got to mention the contests we had: a Look salad uh, contest and baking contest. What else did we have? To pie Appetizers. To pie the, well, I pie. remember bringing a carrot cake. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, yeah. Carrot and I was cake. a week ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it went in the freezer. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I didn't <laughs> sold it. You know, oh, they sold yeah, it. Oh, but yeah. I thought, oh God. She oh. brought it. Oh my God, what to do? <laughs> All right. Not. We can make slices yeah. and sell in you know, one dollar a piece. We made a good money. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. One cake, yes. Has anybody pay, uh, played the prices right here? Yes. Oh, yeah. Can yeah. 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 you yeah. tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, that's fun. Yeah? And what? I won. You did? <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to do? Uh, she'll hold up a, a, a gift or a, a package of groceries, huh. and then you take turns guessing the price. Ah. Guessing how much, and the one closest, closest to the price. To the price gets. without going over. Ah, okay. You win the price. Has anybody won else wanted the price of, is right? I did. Yeah. Anita? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you get the price right, or you will get the item. And then the net puts and get the lottery ticket. They got the lottery yeah, ticket. Yeah, they get the lottery ticket. Like don't a run the lottery. You might win a lottery. That's right, like a run the lottery. So you don't lose. You don't lose either yeah. way. No, yeah. because at the barn, nobody's loser. No. Right, they're no. getting no. right. no. right. no. right. no. right. You know what I like when years ago when we first start coming here, uh -huh. there was like tons of people that used to come here. Uh -huh. We used to go uh, to the place for our Christmas party. And we used to go uh, to Marie's place and uh, for uh, all the, the volunteers and give them gifts and stuff. Mm -hmm. It was great. Oh, then we had the fire and we used to go to Country Buffet and have our breakfast and lunch there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was great too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have other activities like the Lakeview School. Yeah. Uh, you go over there once a year they invite us. We have lunch mm -hmm. and we play candy bingo with the kids. That's because fun. they can't win money. That's yeah. fun. They love those <laughs> candy, love bars. Those <laughs> candy bars. Right. Those were the days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We keep talking about food, but we also have some exercises that people come in through for yoga and also for physical exercise. So we have to work off some of those calories somewhere. How about our sing-alongs? I enjoy that. I love to sing along. You do. <laughs> if there's anything I like to do, it's sing along with people like that. And we have uh, people who are 
really competent who know all the songs, who play excellently, uh -huh. lead you excellently. So it's one thing that I really enjoy. Uh -huh. And that's with the piano that we have here. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And we have people singing, and, and uh, some even pass out the uh, the words of the songs, you know, in case you don't know them. Especially at Christmas. Yes. They come yes. in and they hand out the uh, song notebooks. Exactly. And we sing along to them. I enjoyed the children's choir when they came in and sang yeah. for us from Lakeview School. That was really nice at Christmas. Oh, especially. But I also admire Lori's, you know, uh, help on our newsletter. Yes. Yes. Lori, would you like to tell what uh, you got? They you know I forwarded this to you. Well, uh, after I left Change, I needed another job, and uh, Karen <laughs> came up with something the newsletter, so every month I do try to take some of the activities that we do at the bond and put it into the newsletter, and also try to do some human interest, uh, writing about the various people at the bond, a little bit about their background. We have one girl that is writing a health column. We have a poetry column, uh, or a reminisce column, uh, so it's, it's intense, it's enjoyable, it's a lot of work, um, but I think people enjoy it, and it is on the web now. If you go to Schomburg Senior Newsletter in Google, you'll find it. No, I'm mentioning that but somebody, I forwarded this email to you. Excuse me? I forwarded an email to you that we are getting late this month. What was that? Yes, I, I was on vacation, and my mind was not on the computer and I get this letter the village wanted to know where was our newsletter <laughs> and I, so I told Kieran I'd like to do it on the first, second to, uh, Monday of the month because if something comes up on the first so I'm a little late, two days late but I did it once early and now it's expected. <laughs> <laughs> the message for me was seniors were, and people are asking where the newsletter. So I forward it to her and everything is so good, you know, mm -hmm. wonderful. Yes, yes. yes. yes of course. Um, well, on a little um, different note, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the people that I've met here and how uh, they brought me, brought me into their family. And I feel very comfortable here. I thank our staff with Kieran and his or her staff for all their graciousness and kindness they have been, and also to our mayor, who I have, since I've come, has come here, and his staff, and I think to myself, he seems to have been very kind, and he thinks of us often. Very good, thank you, Thanks. fellas. And thank you all for participating today in Life at the Barn. You really uh, had some relevant points, and we hope to see uh, others, if there's any seniors in our audience that would like to come and have lunch with us and join our group, uh, please call Kieran at 847-524-7496. Uh, and we'll be seeing you.